Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Concepts. This is Ruhi Sheikh and I am back with Current Affairs Session Part 3. And so my dear friends, we discuss discussing very important current affairs that are relevant for your any kind of competitive examination. So uh, before beginning, let me introduce myself. This is me Ruhi. Uh, I am an educator on an academy. An academy for many courses, hai, specifically banking examination and insurance examination. Ke related. So my dear friends, if you want to high quality video content in uh, any banking examination or insurance examination, ke related, to kindly an academy app ko download kare and uh, you can follow me here on this particular link. So moving on to the very first question of today's session. So every day we discuss 5 MCQs discuss karte hai aur aaj bhi main aapke saath 5 in, uh, MCQs discuss karne wali hu with very important static facts and useful information for your any kind of competitive examination. So pehla question hai the state energy efficiency preparedness index that is CP has been jointly prepared by the Bureau of Energy Efficiency BEE and DASH. So, here we have that CP is the State Energy Efficiency Preparedness Index. This is a kind of index whose name is CP, State Energy Efficiency Preparedness Index. This is jointly prepared by the Bureau of Energy Efficiency and Dash. तो वो आपको बताना है कि वो और एक कौन सी ministry है या कौन सा commission है जिसके द्वारा ये index prepare किया गया है. तो आपके पास options है planning commission, finance ministry, niti ayog, sebi. And option E is none of this. So my dear friends, this particular index has been prepared by the Bureau of Energy Efficiency and Niti Aayog. So basically Niti Aayog and Bureau of Efficient, uh, Energy Efficiency in dono dwara ye CP index banaya gaya hai. So iske baare mein aur kuch jaan lete hi ha par. So useful information hai aapke paas. The Bureau of Energy Efficiency and Niti Aayog has released the state energy efficiency preparedness index which assesses state policies and programs aimed at improving energy efficiency across a various sector. So my dear friends this particular uh, preparedness index ka maksad hai to improve the energy efficiency. Energy ko efi, uh, ki efficiency ko badhana iska maksad hai. To niti ayog dwara ye banaya gaya hai. To isi liye ye static facts jo niti ayog ke hai ye kaafi important ban jate hai aapke examination ke लिए कई बार एग्जाम्स में पूछा जाता है नीति आयोग का फुल फॉर्म उसके चेयरमैन वाइस चेयरमैन सीईओ हेडक्वार्टर्स सो देख लेते हैं इसके स्टैटिक इंफॉर्मेशन सो बेसिकली नीति आयोग का फुल फॉर्म है नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग इंडिया और ये एस्टैब्लिश किया गया था 1st जनवरी 2015 को एंड इट वाज एस्टैब्लिश्ड बाय रिप्लेसिंग द प्लानिंग कमीशन सो प्लानिंग कमीशन को रिप्लेस करते हुए नीति आयोग का फॉर्मेशन हुआ था और इसके चेयरमैन है प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी जी सो नरेंद्र मोदी जी ही इसके चेयरमैन है और वाइस चेयरमैन है राजीव कुमार वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट काफी बार ये एग्जाम्स में पूछा गया है क्वेश्चन कि चेयरमैन कौन है नीति आयोग के या फिर वाइस चेयरमैन कौन है तो वाइस चेयरमैन है राजीव कुमार इसके अलावा इसके सीईओ दैट इज चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर है अमिताभ कांत और नीति आयोग का हेड क्वार्टर है न्यू दिल्ली में सो so, बढ़ते हैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन की ओर Karman Kaurthandi is associated with which sports? So Karman Kaurthandi, ye konsa sports se associated hai? See sports ke questions bhi kafi aate hai exams mein. Isliye mein yaha par discuss kar rahi hu aapke saath ki Karman Kaurthandi ye basically konsa sports se associated hai? To options hai tennis, hockey, badminton, none of this and basketball. So the answer is tennis so basically karman kothandi and she is associated with tennis okay so yaha par uh, yaha par diya hua hai ki karman kothandi is from delhi okay wo delhi se hai and she has become the sixth indian woman tennis player to crack the top 200 rankings in singles okay singles mein wo top 200 rankings mein sixth ke, uh, ke one indian woman tennis player hai okay 
and she is ranked exactly 200 in WTA list. WTA list mein unka 200 rank hai and she is backed by Mahesh Bhupati. So moving on to the third question. What is the time limit to support Indian entities bidding for strategically important infrastructure projects abroad? Okay, so options are 2018, 2019, 2020, 2022, 2023. So my dear friends, I will tell you that this year's time limit has um, increased from 5 years. Se hai. Previously it was 2018 and now it has been increased to 2023. So my dear friends, the time limit to support the Indian entities bidding for strategically important infrastructure projects abroad is 2023. So let's see some more useful information related to this particular question. Basically, Union Cabinet has approved first extension of concessional financing scheme for another five years from 2018 to 2023 to support Indian entities bidding for strategically important infrastructure projects abroad. So, this was your third question, but the fourth question ki or, Who will inaugurate Conference for Development of Islands? Okay, uh, Conference for Development of Islands, who will inaugurate kiya jane wala hai? So, options you have Amitabh Khan, Suresh Kumar, Naresh Ayer, Dinesh Gupta and none of this. So, the correct answer is Amitabh Khan. So, my dear friend, Amitabh Khan dwara ye conference uh, jo ki development of islands का है वो इनोग्रेट किया जाने वाला है तो बेसिकली अमिताभ कांत कौन है अमिताभ कांत है सीईओ नीति आयोग के तो देखते हैं इस कॉन्फ्रेंस के बारे में और कुछ यूजफुल इंफॉर्मेशन सो नीति आयोग विल होस्ट एन इन्वेस्टर्स कॉन्फ्रेंस एट प्रवासी भारतीय केंद्र फॉर द होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ आइलैंड्स द कॉन्फ्रेंस विल बी इनोग्रेटेड बाय अमिताभ कांत सीईओ दैट इज नीति आयोग तो बेसिकली ये होस्ट करने वाले हैं नीति आयोग एट प्रवासी भारतीय केंद्र और इसके इसका इनोग्रेशन करने वाले हैं नीति आयोग के सीईओ दैट इज अमिताभ कांत नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो हु रोड द बुक 281 एंड बियॉन्ड सो 281 एंड बियॉन्ड ये बुक किसी किसके द्वारा लिखी गई है तो ऑप्शंस है कुलदीप नायर हकम सिंह वीवीएस लक्ष्मण गुरुदास कामत एंड शेन वॉन सो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स मैं आपको बता दूं कि ये पर्टिकुलर बुक 281 and beyond is an autobiography of our veteran cricketer that is VVS Lakshman. So VVS Lakshman dwara ye book likhi gai hai. To yaha pa diya hai ki veteran cricketer VVS Lakshman known for the suppleness of his wrist has penned down his autobiography titled 281 and beyond and the book will be released in November 2018. So basically, a book release हो चुकी है November 2018 में और ये लिखी गई थी VVS Lakshman द्वारा and it is an autobiography of VVS Lakshman. So my dear friends, ये थे आपके पांच MCQs based on the very important current affairs that might be asked for any competitive examination from in your general awareness section. So uh, if you like watching this videos, kindly comment me in the section below if you have any kind of query ask me in the comment section and also you can subscribe to this channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you do not miss any important update thank you very much